Jupiter continues to put on a show, the Geminids streak through the sky, and we talk about why the so-called Devil Comet keeps getting so much attention. Let's take a look at everything that you can go out to see and image in the night sky for December of 2023. I'm Michael Martin, and this is Late Night Astronomy. Happy Holidays and welcome to your guide to the night sky. Regardless of your experience level, there'll be something in this video for you to go out to see and enjoy in the heavens above. Let's start off the month of December by taking a look at the best meteor showers. Your best chance to see meteors this December will come from the Geminids. To see this meteor shower, go outside after 9 p.m. and face towards the east. Rising into the sky will be the constellation Gemini, where these meteors will appear to emanate from. On most years, you can hope to see around 120 meteors per hour from darker skies, and thankfully this year, the moon is completely out of the way as we enjoy the show. We also have the Ursids meteor shower on December 22nd. Even though this is also classified as a major meteor shower, don't expect to see more than 5 to 10 meteors per hour coming throughout the night from the constellation Ursa Minor. Remember that the best way to observe a meteor shower is to get away from as much light pollution as you possibly can. Try to give yourself at least an hour to enjoy the show. Stay warm this time of year, take some coffee or hot chocolate, and look at as much of the sky as you possibly can, facing towards the direction where these meteors will appear to be emanating from. Our closest neighbor, the moon, is a great target to observe with the naked eye, binoculars, or a telescope, and a popular one to image for those of you that are just getting into astrophotography. Let's begin our study of the moon this month by taking a look at its phases, beginning with a third quarter moon on December 5th, new moon on December 12th, first quarter moon on December 19th, and full moon on December 26th. The moon interacts with many objects in the sky this month, including a close pass to the planet Venus on December 9th, Saturn on December 17th, Neptune on December 19th, Jupiter on December 22nd, and the Moon will also make a close pass to M45, the Pleiades Open Cluster, pairing these two objects up beautifully on the night of December 23rd and December 24th. This is the best time to go out and enjoy the biggest planets of our solar system. After making its closest approach to Earth in November, Jupiter continues to dominate the night sky with incredible views throughout the entire month. To see it, go outside after sunset and look towards the east. You'll see an incredibly bright object that is the largest planet in our solar system rising high for excellent views after 7 p.m. Jupiter is my favorite planet to view and image, and if you're able to see Jupiter this month, please let us know about your experience in the comment section below. And also, share any images that you're able to take of this or any other target with me over on Instagram, at Late Night Astronomy. Saturn continues to be a nice target as well this month, but be sure to catch it right after sunset as it moves closer to the horizon in the southwest sky early in the evening. Trailing behind Jupiter is Uranus, and behind Saturn we have Neptune. Mercury is always a tough target, but it'll be at its highest point in the southwest around December 8th. Just make sure that the sun is set before you go out hunting for this closest planet to the sun. For those of you that are early birds out there, Venus continues to dominate the early morning sky in the southeast just before sunrise. Comets are some of the most interesting objects to go out to observe and image because they're literally the building blocks of our solar system. There's been a lot in the news lately about Comet 12P Pons Brooks. If you don't recognize that name, it's because you've probably heard it referred to as the Devil Comet. Outbursts have been coming out of this comet, leading to a rapid increase in its magnitude but that still doesn't make it an object that you can view with the naked eye or binoculars or even most telescopes at this point. A lot of the images of this through astrophotography have been really incredible to see, but it's still only a tenth magnitude target at this point. 
This December, it travels through the constellation Lyra for the Northern Hemisphere. We'll come back to this comet next year as it reaches its brightest point in April and May of 2024, with it being visible to most telescopes and even binoculars as it makes its closest approach to Earth. After its closest approach to Earth in November, Comet C2023 H2 Lemon continues to dim and move away from our planet, becoming primarily a southern hemisphere target for the month of December. The best comet this month is probably going to be 62P, as it rises after midnight in the constellation Leo, with its closest approach to Earth coming in late January of 2024. Also in the morning sky, 103P Hartley continues its trek through the constellation Hydra. As we leave our solar system behind and travel deeper into our own galaxy, let's take a look at some of the best deep sky objects that you can go out to observe and image. We'll begin by going outside around 9 p.m. and facing towards the east. Keep looking up until you come across the Pleiades. The Seven Sisters are a great naked eye and binocular target that will reveal more and more stars as you move your way up to views through a telescope at low and medium magnifications. In long exposure astrophotography, you can also make out the faint blue nebula with the Seven Sisters. Next, let's make our way over to the constellation Auriga. Here you will find, amongst other things, the starfish and pinwheel clusters. This region of space is a great view through binoculars and low magnification eyepieces in your telescope, and its star density shows up well in astrophotography. Our main event this month, however, is the always impressive constellation Orion. Between Betelgeuse and Rigel, you will see the three bright stars that are Orion's belt. Moving down from Orion's belt will take you to one of the most impressive targets in the night sky, the Orion Nebula. This nebula is one of the closest stellar nurseries to our planet and will show cloudy details through any size telescope. Even with a pair of binoculars, you can make out a gray cloud and under very dark skies, a small blurry smudge to even the naked eye. A few years ago, I was able to capture the Orion Nebula from a dark sky location. Capturing this region of space through this long exposure image revealed the details of this beautiful region of space. I've got a video covering more deep sky objects for you to go out to see and enjoy, and I'll be sure to leave a link to that video in the description below. Those are just some of the most incredible things that you can get out to see in the heavens above for the month of December. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to this channel to join our growing community. But most importantly, let us know what you're able to get out to see and image in the comment section below. I'd like to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday Season. And as always, clear skies from Late Night Astronomy.